Hey everyone, it's Scott here from the Fragrance Channel. Scott Aromatica, welcome. How's everybody doing? You guys doing okay? Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. It really means the world to me. I appreciate each and every one of you guys because you're so awesome. Well, if you can tell by the thumbnail, today I'm going to do a first impression. So what that means is I'm just going to give you my thoughts and feelings on these fragrances. I've had them sitting around for a while. Now, part of this was a gift and one of these I bought, but they're all from the same house and I want to give a big shout out to my friend over at Heart Notes TV. I know he has a YouTube channel. I don't know if he still makes videos or not. I know I see him on Instagram a lot. So look up Heart Notes TV and give him a follow on both. Tell him I sent you and I said hi. But he sent me this discovery kit of one of the world famous perfumers, Andy Tower. And Andy Tower makes some amazing, unusual, not your run of the mill for your average everyday fragrance person. But this is the discovery kit. And he sent me, let's see, four fragrances to test out. And there was one missing, and that, that's okay, because I made up the difference from Scent Split, and I got a decant right here of the world famous Le Air du Desert Moroccan. So we're gonna review that one as well, and I'll tell you the other four we're gonna mention on the other side of the break. So if you guys want some first impressions from Andy Tower, then stick with me on the other side of the break. Like I said, I'm Scott Aromatico. Thank you so far for sticking with me. Welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're brand new, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the world famous perfumer Andy Tower and his company called Tower Perfumes. You may not have heard them. They're considered a niche company, kind of an independent label. And Andy Tower is an amazing world class perfumer. He's one of the best on the planet and he makes some really unusual fragrances. So you want to stick around with this. Now, one of these fragrances that I showed up at the beginning of the video, La Air du Desert Moroccan, this is what's called a niche fragrance. And if you're looking, if you're looking for a niche fragrance, kind of a beginner fragrance or a beginner niche fragrance, look no further than this one. And this is one of the first ones we're going to talk about. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And I got this, where did I get this from? From Scent Split. You can get decants from there of all the most expensive perfumes, the most um, luxurious fragrances, your niche quality, if you will. And that's where I buy a lot of them to test out to make sure I like them. So as you can see, I haven't really had a good, good uh, testing of this. So I wanted to smell it for you guys on camera and give you my first impressions, kind of tell you what I smell. And so guys, this one came out somewhere around 2008, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm, I already like this. But let's go ahead and spray it. I'm not going to give you any note breakdown. I'm not going to tell you about performance or longevity because I would be lying to you if I did that. And I know you guys aren't coming here for BS or for lies. So this is just my first impression and what I think of Andy Tower. And I know he makes some complex and some amazing and some daring fragrances. So let's just go on this journey together. So let's go ahead and without any further ado, spray, if I'm saying this right, my French isn't that good, La Air du Desert Moroccan. Wow. Now, based on what I've read, been doing a little research, this is supposed to invoke the Sahara Desert at night. That's one of the things I love about niche fragrances. I've had this conversation with before with people. Niche fragrances have such an amazing presentation. Um, and if you guys want, let me, you know, even though this is a first impressions, I'm gonna stick up here so you can see what the bottle looks like. That's what I love about niche fragrances is the, the bottle presentation, the stories they tell, the artwork and what they invoke. But wow, man, this is really, really nice. It's definitely aromatic. The wood, the woodiness in this is amazing. But I'm getting a dry, almost incense. I've never been to the Middle East, which I long to do so much. I want to go to Morocco and I want to go to e Egypt and I want to go to all those countries in the Middle East so bad. Um, I want to go to where they make the Amouaj fragrances. What is that? Uh, Amman. There's so many different places over there I want to visit. Man, I'd even love to visit Iran, to be completely honest with you, just to see what it's like. Um, Saudi Arabia, Israel. 
But to me, the first thing that this invokes is kind of like not really the desert air. This invokes more like being in the desert, being in the city and walking by one of those spice markets because there's so much going on with this. I can smell a little bit of florals in this. Now, I know from hearing other people talk about this, there's lavender in here. I'm not getting that. I am getting the cumin and the coriander big time. But basically, this is nice. I really like this. I smelled this a long, long time ago before I even started my fragrance journey. And I remember like just, ugh, and now I'm smelling it, absolutely loving it. But it's so warming. There must be amber in this. It's warming. It's woody. The incense is there and it's just, it's dry. I love it. It's very addicting. I don't know what occasion you would wear this in. And I don't know who would like this. But if you want to smell like a very, very wealthy, smart, well-to-do Arabian man, man, this is the perfect fragrance for that. I love it. I would love to own a full bottle of this one day. Wow, really nice. Absolutely like it. Um, to me, this seems like the perfect beginner niche fragrance right here. Um, La Air du Desert Moroccan. What do you guys think of this one? Tell me in the comments. It's It's neat because it's... It's so drying and so warm and so incensey and woody, very masculine leaning. I don't know if this one is unisex, but who am I to say it's not? If, if you're confident and strong and you like to smell like this, ladies, by all means do so. But wow, this one is, uh, it's nice. I like it. Nothing about this is off-putting to me. It used to be but way back when I first tried this, which is a long time ago. Wow. Well done, Andy. This one is nice. Okay, let's keep it moving. The next one I'm going to be talking about is Vetiver Dance. And this one came out in 2008. And here's the sample right here. I'll put a nice little bottle right there on the screen so you can see it real quick. There you go. And let's go ahead and spray this one. Vetiver Dance, 2008. Perfumer Andy Tower from Tower Perfumes. Wow. Aromatic. Amber in this big time. Gotta be. Soft, spicy. I smell rose. I'm trying to, usually in the top there's some citrus, but I can't detect it. I smell something dirty, like very earthy and dirty. The vetiver, the vetiver is there for sure. I mean, that's the star of the show. So basically my impression of this, warm, dirty vetiver. <laughs> that's the only thing, I, that's the only way I know how to describe this one. 07 vetiver dance, warm, dirty vetiver. It almost sounds, it almost sounds kind of sexual to me, man. This sounds, this smells erotic. It's weird, but yet I like it. Okay, there you go. That's my impression. I'm not gonna, you know, keep repeating the same stuff over and over. This is a warm, dirty, dirty vetiver. I like it. It's kind of cool. What do you guys think of this one? Andy Towers 07 Vetiver Dance. The next one I'm gonna be talking about right here. This one came out in 2016, and I like the name of this one because I love Westerns. This one's called Lonesome rider so this one should be interesting let's go ahead and spray this one up here where i haven't sprayed anything yet andy towers lonesome rider 2016. Ooh, i like this one wow Ooh, i smell the iris and i love iris ross has got a new iris fragrance coming out soon if you guys haven't checked that out from tltg reviews Ooh, incense is coming through now leather there's a bit of sweetness, but it went away quick. It was like sweetness from citrus. It went away fast. All right, star of the show is the incense. Something spicy, that, that's really coming through. Iris, I wouldn't say that citrus because that citrus comes off the top and then goes away. So I'd say the star is the iris that I'm smelling, the incense and the spices. Wow, this is really good. I know there's some rose in this, but I don't smell it. I, cause the, I think it's because the spices and the incense take it over and, and the iris too, that lipstick vibe is definitely there in this DNA. Wow, pretty, pretty dang cool. Oh, some pepper coming through as well. 
Yeah, man, these fragrances are so different. They're unlike anything you've ever smelled. And I know a lot of you guys hate clones and inspirations and you say this fragrance smells like that fragrance. Guys, if you buy Tower Perfumes, buy their discovery kit or check them out, you're gonna get some fragrances that don't smell like anything else, man. You can't beat that. You can't say that these fragrances smell like this or that, or this is a clone of that one, or this smells like the famous word, this smells like uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, or this smells like Creed Aventus, that's all I ever hear is because most fragrances do smell like those two. But these fragrances are so unusual, man, you can't beat that. Thank you, Hard Notes TV, for sending me these fragrances because they're, this is a cool journey. All right, guys, let's keep it moving. The next one I'm gonna talk about right here is by Andy Tower, it's called Low. I love this. This is awesome, this is fun. Let's spray this one now. Right here, where I don't have anything. This one came out in 2017. Perfumer is Andy Tower. Okay, all right, I smell the citruses right away. A Little bit of lemony, uh, clean, kind of like a cleaning lemon smell. I don't like that, but it is powdery, musky. Yeah, the star of this is the citrus and the musk. Kind of animalic, and there's definitely some earthiness to it. Bit of a creamy vibe as well. The first thought that comes to me is almost like a floral mist, kind of. Like, you know, something you might spray on your linen, you know? Like, a, you know, some folks who are well-to-do, who like their linens to smell good, they'll spray them with scents. And this kind of smells like something you would spray your linen or your laundry to smell fresh. This has got a nice, almost fabric softener freshness to it. This is probably the most mass appealing out of the ones I've smelled so far, but it doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled before. I really like this one. Wow. This is like, and this one out of all the ones I've smelled so far is more unisex than the rest. This one's definitely feminine leaning because of the lemon blossom. I like this, wow, really good. This smells like something you would you spray on fresh linen. Another clap from me. Very good. All right. Last but not least, we're going to do La Oud by Andy Tower. Okay. So let's put a bottle up on the screen so you guys can see it. And where haven't I sprayed anything yet? Um, I guess we'll have to spray up here on my arm right here by the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow. Oh, shorty call 911. Wow. My eyes are burning. Ooh. Okay, that's off-putting right away. Ooh. The first thing I get right out of the gate, it smells like garbage. I know there's a mushroom note in there. I wonder if that's what's giving it that smell. It's like a rotten, something's like, like, you know, you put compost in the garden? That's kind of what I smell. Yeah. I would never wear this. I hope that smell goes away. When you mix it, because like with the florals in this and the vetiver and then that mushroom smell and the oud mixed with the myrrh, it's kind of, it smells like garbage. All right, there's, there's, there's the incense poking through, I think. Okay, so now that off puttingness has gone away, I smell a little bit of tobacco and some jasmine. Mm, I don't like this one. I don't think this one works. No, Oof, I would never wear this in a million or so. Mm, no, no, no clap for me, Andy, on that one. That's not my, my that's not my kind of oud. Um, maybe I just, my palate needs to grow more. I need to change and mature, you know, in my fragrance journey to all right, it's a little bit better now. But man, I don't wanna have to get punched in the face before I like my fragrances. There's already a couple fragrances I own that do that, that I that I like, but this is not one of them. Hmm, weird. <laughs> I don't even know what occasion you would wear this in. All right, so yeah, definitely a thumbs down for me. What do you guys think of La Oud? Are you a fan of that one? Let me know in the comments down below. Definitely not my favorite, okay. So what a, I've showed you five fragrances from Andy Tower. What are some other fragrances? I, I know he makes a bunch. Tell me what are some other ones that I really should try that I haven't mentioned that are your favorites 
Are any of these ones that I've tried, such as the Vetiver Dance, are any of these, or uh, Lonesome Rider, any of these some of your favorites? Do you like these fragrances? Let me know down in the comments below. Help educate me and teach me where to go right, where to go wrong. Love hearing from each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me on this journey. It really means a lot to me. Guys, remember to be yourself as long as yourself smells good, and I'll see you guys next time.